Good morning and welcome to Baz's Garage. So this morning I just thought I'd give you a little quick update on how I do wheel alignments on my racing lawnmower. It's not super accurate but for us it's probably good enough for what we need to do. So a little bit of an update first. What we're looking at is here's your front wheels. We're facing forward. We're going to adjust these link rods so that we can get the correct angle of the front wheels. So at the moment wheels are like this. Toe in is when they're towing in. Toe out is when they're towing out. For my personal preference is I like to have a slight bit of toe out rather than toe in. On the track, um, on the tarmac, you want to have toe in, which is great for race cars, but on the dirt, generally you want a little bit of toe out. It just makes the handling a little bit better. So the first thing we have to do is check that we've got everything sorted. So we stand the mower up and we look at the uh, axle. Now, just to, you can do this lots of different ways, but this is the easiest way. If I sit that on there, you can see that the axle is sitting nice and level. And if I go across on this side, the axle is also sitting nice and level. So what we've got is a plane across here that we know that it's nice and level. Once we've worked out that, grab your trusty Android cell phone, go into um, Play Store, get yourself an app called Bubble Level. Looks a bit like that. Click on the Bubble Level, and it will come up with a level that enables you to have degrees this way which is what we're looking for so when we place it up on the top of here we've got to make sure this is facing across as I say it's only approximate but it's good enough for what we need grab your trusty level with a sight glass in it place this across to the center of the axle so that we've got it across the center of the axle and then we want to make sure that we get the bubble level and then we're going to grab the phone and place it on the top and looking at that, we've got about 3.1 degrees. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this steering wheel slightly so that we can get it to the point where it's sitting pretty close to the zero at the moment. So that's pretty bloody good for the zero. So we know that that wheel now is straight up and down to the ones at the bottom. So it's perfectly perpendicular to it. We'll now go across to the other side and we'll see what this side says. So again, straight up and down with the axle across the centre and then get the sight glass level, place the phone on here, and we've got 1.2 degrees. So 1.2 degrees of toe in is too much for me, I want to get it a bit less. So what I need to do is I need to move the wheels so that I've got less toe in. So the way that I do that is, if you're having trouble understanding it, toe in is where the front's like this. So I've got too much of that, so I need to move that out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this link rod and I'm going to shorten it a little bit so that that goes out a little bit and hopefully that will give me closer to what I need. Now I don't have the fancy adjusting ones in here with a left and a right thread. So I've got to undo my ball joint, pull it out and then change it over. So, trusty little uh, impact tool there. Take that that off there. Now I've already loosened off the lock nuts so what I need to do is I need to turn that in. I've got to go in one complete turn and we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to go in one complete turn. Right so then what I'll do is I'll put this back in. Pop this back up again. Give it a tighten up. That's about six dugger duggers. It's quite important to do that. So we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did before. We'll get this sitting sort of about where we want it. Grab our level and our phone. Put this end up on here so we've got level on here. Put our phone on top. And we should have, oh yeah, pretty close to zero, close enough for me at the moment. And then we'll grab that and go around the other side. And we should have a bit of an adjustment from what we had before. It might not be enough, but it'll be a good start. So we'll get that level as well. Place the phone on top. Okay, and we've got... It's 
still not enough adjustment. So I need to adjust that again so I can get it into what I want, the correct amount. But at least you can see the way to do it. So that's the way you're going to do it. Get it pretty close to what you need. And then once you're all happy with the alignment, you can play with it more or less until you get the feel of the mower that you like. So just a quick way of how I do it. Give it a try. Cheers. All right, so part two is I've done some more adjustments just to show what it looks like. So I'm now going to place this on here. And we have um, minus 0.2, which is pretty well close enough for what I'm thinking of. And then on this side, we've got 0.2. Okay, so if you add minus and 1, that gives us exactly 0. So I've got neither toe in nor toe out. So I'm going to try that and see how that goes. And if I find it's better handling, then I will make a difference to it. So um, quite important to muck around with your handling because we don't have suspension to muck about with to help our handling. So the only things we can do are tire pressures and alignment. Um, so, yep, have a good one. Thank you.